We're back. In a moment, I chat with the experts about this week's games. But first, we were at the Fredericksburg Heritage Faith Academy game for our Kick for Wheels contest. Lots of fans turned out for the big faith rivalry game, and this week Mark Manchak was called from the stands to have his chance to win a brand new F-150 truck from Johnson Sewell. On the sidelines, he prepared with his football holder. The contestants aren't allowed to use tees, so they are able to pick someone else to assist them. He was looking pretty confident as he took to the field. Fans were ready to see if he could do it. He eyed the ball and the field goal, aimed and... Oh no, way to the left, and oh no, he loses it. He kicked so hard he knocked himself over. Looks like Mark definitely gave it his all this week, but he couldn't quite make it. We're having a bye this week, but we will be back next week when Marble Falls hosts Cedar Park Vista Ridge at Mustang Stadium. Remember to go to thepickuntv.com to sign up and get a full schedule for Kick for Wheels. And remember, if you don't show up, you can't participate, so make sure you go out and support your favorite teams. Up next, I will talk to the experts about this week's games. Vera Strength and Fitness. Fitness programs that are fun and exciting with true performance and true results. Vera Strength and Fitness, 708 Industrial Boulevard, Suite 101 in Marble Falls. At Ritchie Dental Group, orthodontic care isn't just for kids. I'm Dr. Mindy Ritchie, and I can help you have a straight, healthy smile no matter what your age. From wire braces that come in a variety of colors, Invisalign invisible braces that disappear in your smile, to neuromuscular orthodontics that relieves chronic TMJ pain and headaches. Offering a variety of modern orthodontic treatments, I help people of all ages look and feel their best. Why wait another day? Call me today. Chiropractic Family Care is the home of the gentle chiropractic care. Dr. Connie Laveau is certified both sports and board certified, and with 24 years of experience, she provides her patients with the best possible care. Chiropractic Family Care. Thanks for staying with us. Now, guys, let's get to this week's games. We're going to start with Marble Falls champion. Judge, I want to let you kick the first field goal. Kick the first field goal. Okay, this ball game will tell us a lot about who we are. Uh, we've had a, we had a bad week. Uh, now we go on the road, we play a tough ball club. This is a, a offensive machine, Bernie Champion. When they split the high schools down there, I understand the athletes went to Champion. And so this will be a tough ball game. Uh, we're gonna find out some things about who we are and, and how far we can make it in the playoffs. So this is a big test and, and it's really important that we play well. This. Thursday night. And especially since champions in District 28, 28-4A, they're in the same region as Marble Falls. Yes. They're undefeated right now, 3-0. They won their first two games by a total of four points and then ended up uh, beating Church Clemens 41-24. So, uh, Roger, what are your thoughts on this? Well, that's that's a big win right there. There's no doubt. Was that last week? That was yeah. last yeah, week. Yeah, that's, you know, Marble Falls could catch them, you know, same way Burnett could be caught this week too, kind of being on a little flat because that's a huge win for him right there. That takes some stuff to do to beat Church at home like that. Billy? Football is ultimately an endurance sport on the field and, and for teams themselves as a whole. And this is going to test that endurance Thursday night. Uh, Champion is obviously a good squad. They're pretty balanced. They've run for nearly a thousand yards already. They've given up a lot on defense. So Marble Falls is going to have to stay with them, if not get ahead, if they want to control this game. But for the kids themselves, it's going to be a time when they really are going to have to step up and show they want to play this game. You know, the Bernie Champion has three offensive linemen who are coming back with some experience. That's how they've been able to run so well. And the strength of their defense is their linebackers and the defensive backs. I'm hoping that someone emerges from Marble Falls on the passing game who's a weapon, who's not David Morgan. The one thing about the Burnett game, it exposed some of the concerns that so many fans had going into the season that Marble has yet to answer. Who's going to be the second, who are the second and third receivers? When, if and when Austin Sparks can't go, who's going to pick up the running slack? Who's going to be that guy who's going to step up for Zed Warner so that he doesn't get creamed as he's trying to extend a play? So it'll be interesting to see that. Okay, guys. We also have another great game. Uh, Brownwood ranked number one this week. Class 3A is going to come and 
face the Lano Yellow Jackets in a homecoming matchup for the Yellow Jackets. Roger, I'm going to skip over to you and let you talk a little bit about Brownwood since Bob Shipley is the head coach, long time, a lifelong Bulldog, and his son Jackson is a primary receiver for them. He is. I'm telling you, Jackson is the real deal. Uh, Jordan was a great receiver. I think Jackson's just every bit probably as good. Jackson uh, saw him growing up through the years, coming up and watching uh, practices. He'd come out from from uh, school, and if he had a shoe on, he kicked it off, and he ran pass routes for us, uh, our defense. He uh, he came out and worked out with it when he was fourth and fifth grade, and uh, he was as fast as some of the kids on our team then. And uh, he's just gotten faster, I'm sure, and uh, just come out to be a great receiver. Now, right now he has 19 catches, uh, 267 yards, 14 yards per catch average. And as we all know, Judge, the yaks, the, the yards after catch, are what separates some of the good receivers from some of the great ones. And Jackson is a uh, five-star receiver. He's committed to the University of Texas. He's a big-time football player. If you saw his brother Jordan play at Texas, you know what these guys can do. Jordan is having a great professional career at Cincinnati already, and I expect Jackson to be every bit as good as, as Jordan. Uh, while that'll be a difficult task for him, I expect that he will reach that level. Now, Bob has, uh, you know, all the brains, you know, of the, of the family, but Sharon, their mother, you know, Jackson and Jordan's mother, that's where they got their speed from. She's very fast. <laughs> Billy, your thoughts on this Lano Brownwood game? Well, I've heard from Brownwood people, there's several that live here, and Brownwood had a lot of hubba coming in. They've got a whole team. They have a lot of other weapons, which makes Jackson even that yeah. more dangerous. Uh, I watched a lot of film on Jackson this summer, and his ability to separate is exceptional. Something you don't see in high school kids, and he seems to have picked up everything that his brother was able to do. So, Lano's going to, I'm afraid, see way too much of him. But this is a powerful team. There's a reason that they're number one in the state. You know, uh, one, one of the great things about th having this matchup in Lano is that some people who know the, the Shipley's, Long time people, I expect that game to be packed. Regardless of the outcome, I think most people realize that perhaps Brownwood is playing on a level that Lano is trying to get to, especially right, right now as they're learning yeah. about the spread offense and they'll get a good first hand look at that. Well, you know, Lano fans will turn out and yeah. Brownwood travels really well. And being Thursday night, we can all go up there too. There's True. people here that are going to go. You bet. Whenever you get to see a team like that, it, it's really something to watch. All right, and then we're, of course, Burnett is hosting Bandera, a team that lost to Lano last week. Lano's entering the Brownwood game with two wins, one loss. Bandera's still looking for that first win. Roger, I'm going to, you know, flip it right back over to you. What, do you have a fear going into this game for, for you Burnett? Know, you always do. You know, Bandera is always a, a powerhouse, and it's hard to believe that they've coming in in 0-3. And uh, it, something – it's going to start clicking there, you think, and uh, it, it very well could be with this week. The problem that I have with it is that coming off a big win, sometimes that can catch you a little off guard. You're a little down, you're a little flat, they call it, and uh, that's scary. I think our guys are going to rise up and just go and take care of business, but uh, I want them to make sure that they're not flat coming into the game. I think special teams was huge last week. Uh, I think uh, the kicking game that Burnett had, I think that's got to come right on through and get better every week. But uh, I think that was huge last week in the, in the win. You know, I had a chance to be out on the field with some of those Burnett players and some of them all the Falls players. And there, and there were tears on both sides. Sure. A lot of the Burnett players were crying tears of joy because so few people gave them a chance. And I really felt like the only people who thought they could win the game were the guys in the locker room with them, their teammates, their coaches. Yeah. On the other side of the field, I saw a lot of Marble Falls Mustangs crying, some of them leaving this year, the ending their career with just the one win over Burnett on the varsity level their sophomore year. So my big thing with, with Burnett, I feel like this win might have given the Bulldogs even more confidence going into the district campaign, and especially since they spent a large part of Wednesday afternoon last week trying to convince me that the Burnett Marble Falls rivalry is only one-sided, and that's what Marble Falls feels, not what Burnett feels. 
Judge, it was certainly hard to convince me of that Friday night when I saw so many of those players. What are your thoughts going into this Friday night? Well, game? you know, I've not seen Bandera play, but uh, last week I predicted Marl Claus to beat Burnett by 20. This week I'm going to pick Burnett to beat Bandera by 30. Uh, <laughs> that's not intended to jinx Burnett. I hope Burnett has a great game. But Bandera's down this year, and I just don't see any way that Bandera's going to match up with the Bulldogs. Friday night, so I'm going to call it burn it by 30. Well, now, I feel like you're going to pick burn it from here on out the rest of the year. Well, I don't know any reason not to. Uh, the way they played Friday night, I'm not, I'm, I don't see any way. I'm even going to pick them in the upset of the year coming up in the next segment. Well, there you go. Okay. Billy, your thoughts going into this Bandera burn it game? Yeah, what burn it has to watch is being overconfident and not take them seriously. We get these nights in football when all of a sudden you can't hold on to the ball and things start going against you. Turnovers are a killer, and it can happen. And that's what he's talking about, is putting yourself in a situation where you get psychologically down, and all of a sudden you can't climb out of that yeah. hole. It's a dangerous game. I would think straight up they'd win this game going away easily. Who has the best chance this week of pulling an upset? Well, I, I think that it that Mar I'm going to pick Marl Falls to win, and I think that'll be an upset. I think so too. Uh, Champion obviously has a good football team. You don't go three and zero and and with the teams that they've played without having a good ball club. So I'm going to pick Marl Falls to win the game, and that would be my upset this week. Sure, Roger, you agree with that? I agree. I agree. I think it'd be a a huge upset and be a great upset. Well, and, and obviously Marble Falls has so much to overcome this week. They have the emotional letdown. I, I think they're still trying to put the loss behind them. Then you're working on a short week. Billy, who has the, the uh, who has the best chance of pulling the upset? Oh, I, I sort of agree with them with Marble Falls. I just think Brownwood is so strong and Barandera is down that that uh, really that that's about all is left as a choice as far as that goes. Liberty Hill and Lampasas need to get back on the horse, too, in that district. Okay. All right. Well, guys, we appreciate it. We we'll look forward to seeing that. Another exciting week of football. We also want to make mention of the fact that you can find out more about the District 25-3A and 25-4A standings. Just go to thepicuntv.com, click on the press box, and scroll down. Up next, the tables are turned as a fan tries to stump the experts. Replacing or building a new fence? Look to the most respected company in Central Texas, Hill Country Fence. Whatever your fencing needs, we strive to make you happy. Go online now and get a quote quickly and easily. Hill Country Fence, the most trusted name in fencing. Experts agree that the current systems of retirement savings are broken. So find a new alternative. Visit itsyourmoneyonline.com to learn how to take control of your investments. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest.